Hey, everybody, it's Chris and Des Show. I'm Chris. And I'm Des. And we're going to talk to you about the animated film Loving Vincent, about life, actually more the death of, but yeah. life and death of uh, Vincent Van Gogh. Des, what do you think? Okay, so this movie is just about the end of his life and what happens. And the innovative part is the animation method because they, I think they hand paint the whole thing. They do, yeah. So it's that swirly kind of Van Gogh uh, art the whole time. And it's so interesting. Uh, his life, I didn't know anything about his life except the, the ear chop off part. And so to see this ending and uh, it's, uh, it, is it like an interview? Like this kid is interviewing people, the different yeah. characters towards the end. and. And they're telling him the story and their their interaction with him. But I thought it was really interesting, that whole history, the history of Van Gogh, interesting in and of itself. And then the uh, method of the art and the animation, completely compelling as well. So it's a great movie. It is not for children. It I wouldn't think. And it's kind of boring. It's just, kind of yeah, they're, it's not going to hold their attention. But uh, it's really it's really good. I would recommend it to adults to go see for sure. Hmm. What'd you think? Uh, I didn't think it was great, but I thought it was good. It's a good movie. Uh, it has some store. It has some problems with the writing. Is what the problem is. The mm. story's written in a weird kind of way, yeah. uh, which at times seem like, what the heck are we watching this for? <laughs> and then other times like, and then it gets like so climactic. Yeah. You're like, oh wow, that's so cool. That's so cool. And it is naturally interesting because Vincent Van Gogh's life is an interesting, and he is interesting and. A, brilliant obviously painter um and it's really cool i can totally see why the reviews have been positive but uh, not overly positive because the style of the painting it like vincent van gogh does is uh, obviously like a hats off to him and he's phenomenal and amazing at it um and it's interesting and different and new uh and it's sometimes distracting and hard to watch so it's kind of like this balance yeah, of like it's not easy to watch that all the time it's not beautiful like Coco or something like where you can watch. I can watch it all day long. It makes it um, harder to focus on the story. The story, right. I did find myself watching the swirls. I was like, oh, wait, what's happening? <laughs> but I like that part. It was, it, so it's distracting and it's yeah. storytelling. So it depends. Which, if you want to look at like the beautiful art of the movie, it is that. Is it a good movie storytelling wise, arc wise, that kind of stuff? It, that's where it struggles a little more. Yeah. But the story is interesting in itself because it's interesting. At least it makes you want to, it would make me want to be like, oh, I want to learn some more about Van Gogh because obviously he was a genius. And it's full of a bunch of people that we really like, especially our friend yeah. Saoirse Ronan, who Saoirse. we love. Uh, and it was cool because they painted it to look like the actor. So when Saoirse Ronan's character comes on, you're like, oh my goodness, that's Saoirse Ronan because that looks exactly <laughs> like her. Uh, and so, yeah, so that was good. Um, it is good. It is Probably kids would think it's a little boring and hard to watch, honestly. I think that's yeah, the think issue so they would say, too. Uh, so it's more for adults who want to know about Vincent Van Gogh. And I would just go more to see the painting. It's just beautiful to look at. Um, and it's not too long. It was just like an hour Yeah, and a half. it was like an hour and a half. Yeah, it's typical. okay. But if it were good. like over two hours, that'd be too much of an too investment. Too much to look at yeah. that type of film yeah. making. Uh, but it's interesting and different and... I don't know. I liked it. It might be I hard to it. find. I can't imagine uh, it's going to get much wider release than. Yeah, it says it's playing at the Lumley Royal Theater, which is way out. Yeah, so it's probably already closed. Um, it, it'll probably come up on Netflix or. or yes, something. it is coming out January this month. It is oh, coming out on Netflix. Well, looky there. On not Netflix, on iTunes. So okay, you can buy it or rent it on so, iTunes. Uh, and so that might be a different it's definitely, option. Yeah, yeah, you could just watch it at home. Bye. Bye.